Possible holding zone of woodcock. We make clumsy attempts to track the pair of ducks. I can hear some sort of little sparrow pleating away somewhere. They like to explore these seed bearing grasses along the basin edge. See them there before. This is probably destined to be the preeminent feature of the place. Lovingly constructed and thoughtfully designed. Built to last and look these would be pussy willows and you can see that they're about to put on blossom interesting yeah everything is rising from its sleep what is that a dead goose yeesh I think it is that's not good oh, there's another dead goose Someone's been killing the geese. What's with that? like they were shot or something. Or maybe that's something gnawing on them. Oh, there's another one. Strange. Water's pretty high. Maybe it was predation. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me that there are coyotes here. Yeah, the water's pretty high from all the melting snow. Just missed the rail. Heading out to Acton, maybe Fitchburg. So there we have it. The strange die off of geese. Maybe they got a hold of something toxic. This way, we'll continue down towards Belmont and continues to follow the old alignment of the Central Massachusetts Railroad. Oh, here's our homage to dragonflies. Years ago when I was first 
envisioning how the bass circuit would shake out. One of the things that I imagined we would run into would be these kind of mnemonic art things like this dragonfly monument and the other ones we're seeing. And it, I really wouldn't say it's a terribly original idea, but it's cool. And uh, evidently other people thought of it too, and they bothered to fill out the forms. So all around Massachusetts, you'll see an element of its living ecology, its historical features and everything recurringly celebrated in the public art that results from a 1% allocation in construction budgets. It's all over the place. It's kind of a way of having the Commonwealth explain itself in ways that can range from coy and demure, like these funny little dragonfly monuments, to garish and ridiculous, like Menino's nearly three million dollar merry-go-round. <laughs> but nonetheless, everyone's heart's in the right place, and isn't that what it's all about, after all? And it's a wrap. I've completed my rounds of the alewife nature preserve, part of the Mystic River watershed as yet another one of these mnemonic rock things reminds you. <coughs> Be interesting to see what it's like come March. I'll probably be around here for the next trip shortly after Vernal Equinox, this ongoing project, the Alewife Reservation through the seasons. And now we bid adieu, stumble through some muck. out of here to our usual rendezvous with the Alewife Red Line subway station. Oh, that's Pfizer. Yep, I had it right. That's biotech, all right. Who knows what this imposing thing is. Looks like it might be residential. The usual dense thicket of fragmites, super imposition of high tech on a swamp, and another fine day is done.